Man United signed three players this summer and seven senior players left the squad. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was backed by the club to do it. But was United's shift in strategy the right thing for United to do? And what else does Solskjaer need to do to bring success back to United? On Monday Night Football, Gary Neville discussed exactly this. And in this video, I want to run through the points that he raised and give my own opinion on those. I've done plenty of these before and you enjoy them, so make sure you drop a like on the video. And if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. But let's discuss what Gary had to say on Monday Night Football. The first point I want to take a look at is Gary's thoughts on the summer. We signed Dan James, Harry Maguire and Wan Misaka and the likes of Smalling, Sanchez, Lukaku, Damian, Valencia, Fellaini, Herrera all left. This is what Gary thought about the summer. At this moment in time, United's average age has come right the way down to 24. There's eight academy players in the squad and there is a sense among some Manchester United fans, not me, but some, and I can understand why, that the expectations are being lowered, that basically this is not good enough. I have to think it's probably a step, in, a step backwards, but a step in the right direction to go forwards because I think that enough's enough of all these players that have been coming in that have, like you say, 30-odd-year-old, not good enough. Gary's point there about it being a step backwards to be a step forwards is a sentiment I absolutely agree with because, as I said, letting Lukaku, Smalling, Herrera, Fellaini, Sanchez, Valencia, Darmian, look, all these senior players, letting them leave and not adequately replacing them on the surface is a step backwards. But letting go of seven players who are not going to shape the future of our club in any way, shape or form is a step in the right direction. So it depends on which way you look at it, but I'm fully in the Gary Neville camp here. I think while on the surface it might look like United are stepping backwards by letting so many players go and not adequately replacing them in one summer, it's a step in the right direction by letting go of the sorts of players who United shouldn't have anymore. And in terms of the expectations being lowered, they should be lowered. Because United, in comparison to Liverpool and City, are light years behind them. There's no harm in lowering expectations as long as that lowered expectation doesn't become the norm, doesn't become accepted. And United fans aren't accepting that this is the new expectation and level. That's the subtle difference here. Expectations have to be lowered because that's the circumstances of United right now. It's the, it's the place we find our club in. But it doesn't mean that we're happy with it. It doesn't mean that we're just going to plod along and be happy with finishing fourth or fifth every year. We want to get the title back. But we have to accept that the expectations need to be lowered for us to get back on the ladder and step back up towards Liverpool and City because we can't do that all in one summer. And it's no coincidence that James, wan and Maguire are United's three best players so far this season. Solskjaer signed them for a set of reasons which is proving to be the right reasons. And it's a massive shift in direction from how United operated under Van Gaal and Mourinho, and it's something that Neville absolutely applauds. So what I'm saying to you is now, they've changed direction. It's a change of direction. Whether you like it or I like it, it's a change of direction. I'm not interested. No, that's fine. So there's a change of direction. They've gone for what would be James, uh, Maguire, wan -Bissaka. Younger players who've hopefully got a f future at Manchester United for the next 10 years. They've, the three of them have started well. Now, nobody is going to say that this summer was incredible and United have all of a sudden caught up with Liverpool and City because we haven't. But... There's foundations, I feel, were put in this summer which can be taken forward by United as part of an actual strategy that hopefully we can continue over more than two transfer windows before replacing a manager and starting all over again. But we're so far behind Liverpool and City that this sh shift, this change in direction had to happen. And I can understand the frustration that a lot of United fans have in the fact that we didn't sign a new powerful central midfielder or a Lukaku replacement this summer but the foundations have been put in place. And I would actually argue that this summer was probably the most successful one we've had post Fergie. It wasn't like a football manager type window where you just spend gazillions, bring in whoever you want, and it works out perfectly because lo and behold, real life isn't football manager. We got rid of seven players that Solskjaer didn't feel were part of his strategy going forward. And we brought in three that he felt were. Have we being able to maybe get James Madison or Jason Sancho. Maybe Solskjaer would have signed those players, but we couldn't because we didn't have Champions League football. And maybe we didn't have enough money, but I think we did. It's just the fact that so many left and so few came in by comparison 
That's where the frustration of a lot of fans came in. But it's going to happen over more than one transfer window. For me, this summer was the starting point of that. Now, one key element of what Solskjaer has done this season is he's really turned towards the youth. Instead of bringing in a new central midfielder, Scott McTominay's been promoted. Andreas Pereira is getting plenty of football. Tuan Zeve has been promoted to third choice centre back, whilst Chris Smalling has been loaned out to Roma. And Rashford has been tasked with replacing the goals that Lukaku left with. That's a lot of faith in a lot of kids. Some of them more experienced than others. But the point that Neville makes here is the absolute crux of what will define Solskjaer's period as United manager as a success or a failure. My point is, if you look at these players here now, Bruce Pallister, Schmeichel, Keane, Cole, Cantona. The spine of that team is immense. The problem with Manchester United's team now is not the five young players on the pitch or the three in the, on the bench. The spine of the team is Lindelof, Matic, Mata, Young. These are the experienced players, by the way. Maguire, yes, sort of, but new at the club, De Gea. I think if you look at the, the young players, who knows what Rashford's going to become, what James is going to become, what Pereira, wan Saka. They've all got massive promise, McTominay. What I do know is that those five or six players there carried us as young players. Cantona, Cole, Keane, Palace, De Bruce, Schmeichel. Manchester United somehow have got to find a spine. Neville is so spot on here that it's painful to say because it's not as if this is a new problem that we haven't seen. Mourinho tried it. Mourinho had Pogba, Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan. It didn't work. They were the wrong sorts of players. Van Howe tried it. Blind, Herrera, Di Maria, Falcao. It didn't work. They were the wrong sorts of players. And what we do need now is that spine. That team that does have your Keens, your Cantonars, your Bruce, your Schmeichel. That team, of, that spine of a team that can carry any youngster through because they're experienced and that the youngster all of a sudden has a player to look up to. That's why I think that Zlatan Ibrahimovic was the best post-Fergie signing because he was just idolised, I would imagine, by his teammates. Somebody that all those youngsters wanted to be in five, ten years' time. Now, we don't really have that at the club at the moment, not throughout the whole team, because if you look at the spine that Solskjaer is building, he started it with Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire is brought to be that leader, that Bruce or Pallister type character as our centre-back. Now, in De Gea signed a new contract. He's staying at United. He's been at United for the best part of a decade already. Well, when did he join? 2011, I think he joined. He is our goalkeeper. He is our Schmeichel type character. So I think in Maguire and De Gea, the spine has started. But if you look further forward, that's where the problems lie. Pop was supposed to be that midfield, that dominant midfielder, that keen type player that controls and leads the players around him. But he isn't at the moment. And Marcus Rashford is 21 and can't really be expected to lead by example in that regard. So it's clear if Neville's right here, and I think he is, that United do need to build that spine. And there's two major weaknesses there. Central midfield and up front. Now, is Rashford good enough to become that leader? I think at 21, I think it would be unfair to expect him to do that. So in that sense, United do need to sign a striker in the summer. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. As for the midfield, we know that that's been a weak point. And man, it's been a weak point for ever since Skulls and Carrick went. We've never, ever properly been able to replace them. And you can't replace the irreplaceable, but Popper was supposed to be that player. He just hasn't shown that sort of leadership that he showed so well with France at the World Cup. And this isn't me slating Pogba. It's because of the levels that he's shown me he can do. I expect him to bring that to United. And maybe we're going to see more of that across the season. But it's clear that we don't have that keen. We don't have that Cantona. And Neville, for me, is absolutely spot on when he's saying that that is going to be the foundations for United's success. And that's why I think that this summer was so successful for United in terms of our signings that we did make. Because Maguire can be that type of player, that then improves Lindelof, that then improves wan -Bissaka, that then improves Shaw around him. And we need that midfielder to improve McTominay, to improve James, 
to improve all the players around him and a striker to lead by example up front. That's what we're missing at the moment. That's why Aguero, Fernandinho, company was so important to City. It's no coincidence that those teams have won the leagues with such good spines and it's no coincidence that United dominated when we had a spine that had like Van der Sar, Vidic and Ferdinand, Carrick, Rooney, or Schmeichel, Bruce, Keane and Cantona. That is what United is missing. It's not, it's not easy to get that spine. But that is the crux of the problem now moving forward is Solskjaer has to build that and Neville's absolutely spot on to highlight that as the biggest issue. Because it's not about the quality of the youngsters, it's about the blend of experience that they play alongside and United don't have that, not at the moment. We need to get a bigger, better spine in our team. And what happens this season will shape our ability to find that spine next summer. So what would Neville consider a successful season for United? Um, oh, top four would be a successful season and winning a trophy. That's where Manchester United are at. Now, that is unacceptable in where Manchester United need to be. But they're, un they're incapable, after six, seven years of poor recruitment, of being able to just go from being sixth, seventh, fifth into first. They're nowhere near at this moment in time. They're going to have to basically have three or four good transfer windows. The most important thing last transfer window wasn't just adding two or three players of the right type. It was making sure they didn't make any further mistakes. I don't think they've done that. I think Manchester United this season would be stronger, sounds crazy this, with Herrera, Fellaini and Lukaku. But in the long term, they won't be because those players will never get Manchester United where they need to be. Top four in a trophy? Solskjaer and pretty much every United fan would bite your hand off for that. And it's not just a case of lowering expectations. As I said at the start of the video, it's about accepting current circumstances and aiming with a target to get back to where we were before. And to finish on the point that Neville makes right at the end there, we probably would be stronger this year in terms of a squad with Lukaku, with Sanchez, with Herrera, with Fellaini. But I'd rather have a season where we fumble and we start heading in a different direction without those players than continuing down the same path that hasn't helped us get back towards winning the Premier League. So this season isn't about where we finish in the Premier League. It isn't about what silverware we win. It's about genuinely rebuilding and finding the club's identity again in the football that we play, in the culture that's around the club. And it's a painful process and we may have another fifth or sixth finish coming up. But if we do it as part of a new strategy that helps United move forward as a club and close that gap with City and Liverpool properly, then it's a much better logic than short-term thinking of trying to win the title under Mourinho Two years later, it combusts in our face and we're left back at square one. That's not going to get United back to where we want to be. And what got us here won't get us there. So it's time that United need to move on and move forward. And that is why I think this summer was so successful. Why I think Neville's so spot on there when he's saying that the finding the spine is the biggest issue now. But I want to know what you think about this in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, make sure you subscribe. Till next time, though, take it easy.